All right, it is time for day two of By Fear Lifelands X Torg. So, today is pretty much just going to be a run forward day. I want to try to get to level 50 as quickly as possible because that's when legendaries start dropping in By Fear Lifelands. And that's when we could get a bada boom for this character because we are absolutely going to be doing a lot of rocket jumping. We're going to work down this melee tree. There is a skill that allows you to one-shot people occasionally if you're lucky. And then I also want to try to change the mod to where it will use Fight Fear Lifelands class mods whenever we get to that point. Because we could get a BA Slayer that gives plus 7 to a lot of skills. And that would just be absolutely ridiculous. There are a couple of good class mods that come with Torg mod, but none so absurd as that one. So, I, I want that. So that's what we're going for. Alright, level 39. So we can go ahead and spec the skill that gives us an extra 45% knockback. And also provides us an increased amount of melee damage while airborne, based on our current velocity. Which does have an absolute cap to it. And if you do get a melee off during that peak velocity, it plays the sound from TF2 whenever you pierce multiple people with a sniper rifle. The Machina, I believe, it plays that sound, basically. And it's super cool whenever it happens. I doubt we're going to get it today, though. But it's cool. It's really cool. Alright, let's see what this knockback is like. Yeah. So, uh, this is a times 3 launcher that gets an extra 100% pellets from this skill right here. So if we think about our bada boom is going to be double that knockback, and then we think about the fact that the obliterator is 18 rockets per shot, and it always applies a two-fang effect when shot, that's like 36 potential rockets, and then just double the knockback, and then add 45% on top. Because why not? Now, currently there is also a concern about the type of nuke that is going off here. Because, essentially, Fight for Your Lifelands has its own version of Axton's nuke, but so does Torgmod. So we're sort of in this weird in-between spot where we're questioning which nuke is going off, and also which one do we want to have going off, because it entirely depends which one does more damage realistically. But I'm not going to look into it too hard for right now. If we get to late game and things start to get a little rough, we'll see what we get up to. Right, Torgmod also gets rid of infinite vertical melee range because they wanted people to actually have to try to aim with their market garden. So there's no just hitting people from forever away. We'll actually have to try a little bit, which I am totally okay with that, because the punches can be quite strong. At least I hope they're still strong. I guess I don't know if paired with Fight for Life Lands they're going to be worth anything. have so much control over the character and it feels weird. Let's go. Okay. The nuke just throwing car around. Also the car just not caring about damage, thank you. And we only need three parts, because Fight for Your Life lands is cool like that. Very nice. Try to apply slag. Try to apply nuke. Nuke is being applied pretty well. Seems good.
level 40. Okay, we're level 42. We got the funny slag laser. So basically the way this thing works is, after I throw out turrets, I get the big stupid laser beam to shoot at people. Just make everybody purple at the same time. It's kinda great. It's so dumb. I loved this character. I'm glad we're playing it again. Okay. We're gonna probably kinda just skip all of Bloodshot. Can't do this super skip. I know we don't have the velocity for that, but we can still skip most of it by going over here. Just kind of disregard progression a little bit because we know we can just get rid of most issues at this point in the game anyway. And also hit our head really hard. Never have I been so hydrated before. Oh, I'm flying right off that ledge. There's no way I'm not dead right now. Hey, blue tarp. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alright, Warden. Please go away. Wow, that actually worked. Sure. I'm gonna save quit to skip the wave fight, but dang. Okay. Why is this not... Oh, am I just too tall? My character model might be too tall to actually be able to see that through there like normal. That's kind of funny. This is really weird, but I think Mr. Torg is a glass cannon in this mod. He just gets one shot super duper easy, but he just deals so much damage at the same time. I, I absolutely think that that's how this character is probably going to feel for pretty much the entire run, if I had to guess. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Muscles is level 51. He has a chance to drop legendaries on death now. Is this the farm? I'm not going to do that. But if I happen to see a nice thing, I'm definitely going to grab it. Alright, Wilhelm. I know I have the giant slag laser, but I really want to pre-slag to try to get all of the damage off that I can. So, become pink. Thank you. Well, purple. It's close enough. And deal damage. Right, and now we just have to not die and wait for nukes. Just go sit up here. There we go. Only a minor problem. Is that a pitchfork? It is. And it's a fire one too. Okay. Very cool. Well, okay. Need 
Hmm. Well, this might take a couple turrets. Hey, Rough Rider. And sledges. Yeah, we're gonna have to be a little careful. Good thing we can just camp out wherever we want at all times. Thank you, Mr. Muscles. Please. Alright, I gotta go. He's my hero, though. And suddenly they get really good at aiming whenever they kill the beacon and are targeting me instead. He's got a Rocketeer. Oh, he's gonna go game on him. No, stop being good at the video game, please. No, you're gonna ruin my, my strat. He actually is dealing a lot of good damage. And he's got the res. The muscles is gonna be a hard carry in late game. I guarantee it. He just one shot. Yeah. Mr. Muscles beats everything. It's him versus the world. Look at him go. Alright. Okay. He's slightly reliant on gun RNG, but even with a bad gun, he is doing just fine. Let's put him closer to the enemy. With a spinny gun? Okay. Eventually he'll have to do damage. Ooh, quick jawler with... Uh, it's a molly one grip. Oh well. And now he has a cannon. Life is good. He really is our action skill. Nuke is like not even a thing at this point. There we go. Yes. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and read how this reads. So, cooldown, gun damage, fire rate, plus two. This, more nuke. More nuke there as well. And plus two this skill. This skill is not supposed to have multiple points. I don't think that's going to do anything. And then one of the skills seems to be, a couple of the skills seem to be non-existent. All right, so... Maybe the Pipe Your Life Plans class mods aren't as funny as I thought they were going to be. Maybe we need to enable the Torg ones instead. Let's try that real quick and see how much different this will be. Go. Save. Re-execute. Please don't break. Perfect. Press continue. And... Hey... Look at that, it buffs skills it's supposed to- oh, they're all the left tree weird gun skills. They really overinflate the ammo consumption of Torg guns in this mod, which I really don't like at all. So... Exploder class mod. <laughs> Basically, that's how I feel about that. Uh, it's so unfortunate. 
I wish that the left tree wasn't so interesting. I really need you to just shoot him. You deal so much more gun damage than you do the melee. There we go. Alright. Bloodwing. Oh no, you are kind of thick. Uh, Mr. Muscles, please kill him. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Muscles is definitely the one putting in work, though. So, it's a good thing he sticks around. Yeah, okay. Mr. Muscles is really gonna carry today. Unless he decides to do melee spam. In which case, he's immediately going to become Super Troll. Hi, good job, Nuke. Definitely only the Nuke turret is what did all that. He's such a gamer. There's so much loot on the floor, though. Hey, you. I've lost everything. Kitchen sink. Alright, he's dead. Right. So fast. There we go. It only took three whole nuke cycles waiting for cooldowns and stuff. But we're good. Let's see. Random chance to knock enemies out, which makes them collapse on the floor. Which basically is like them getting tapped by a car. And then we have dealing above a certain amount of melee damage adds a stack of oh crap. Each stack increases melee damage, decreases rocket launcher reload time, and increases rocket launcher mag size. This is pretty much to go in pairing with these three skills here to make mark gardening more effective. And then we also have this. This spawns an angry Goliath. Well, not angry yet, but will eventually turn angry Goliath. Alright, let's see it. So, we should have a new pet. Might have to wait until this action skill is over. Where is our boy? Hmm. Well, we're supposed to have a Goliath from doing that, but he's not spawning. Might just have to accept that and just not spec that skill. Could be a little bit of conflict there between Viper Lifelands and Borg Mod. Alright, uh, Bunker is a little far away for nukes. And we can't really throw them directly because the game doesn't care about that. It'll just make them bounce off and fly into low orbit. So we'll kind of just have to hope that he lands somewhere where we can throw them. And then just do DPS in between.
Oh, hey, Tiny spawned. Well, there we go. And Tiny is dead. Well, there we go. At least we saw him spawn for once. That's good. It almost wouldn't be a bad idea to just go hit one of the DLCs and just try to get a quick level 50. And then come back. Because we do get this fast travel for having been here in this mod. Well, in Fight for Your Lifeland specifically. And I guess that's exactly what we're going to go do. Okay. So what DLC has a big boy that's easy to kill and will provide a lot of XP really early into its story? Not Mr. Bony Pants Guy, but also kind of Mr. Bony Pants Guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, because no, absolutely not. What, Pyro Pete? Really far in? And then... Yeah, no. Tina DLC. Waiting for everybody to gather around. Oop. Level 49. Okay. Man. Well. Hmm. I have one more idea. Mutated Barkids. They've never failed me. Finally. It took actually a really long amount of time to level up. But we leveled up. So let's go ahead and put on a madhouse. Go ahead and put on a pitchfork. And then let's go ahead and put on that bada. Oh yeah, we can hit low orbit. Even with just a basic shot, no double shot applied. And then of course with double shot, I mean we're just cruising. So we've got that. The honestly the Ravager is not gonna do anything, so we might as well swap it out for like sledges. And then if we could get a volunteer. Pitchfork is really, really strong. At least early into TVHM, well, late TVHM, early UVHM, it's really good. So, heck yeah. Let's go farm bunker really, really quick. Alright, bunker. Try right, those again. Alright, first off, ow. Go ahead and get rid of those turrets. Maybe. And I didn't even notice how much damage had been dealt because I was too busy trying to do the whole not die thing. Yeah, so much easier. So glad we went and leveled. There we go. All right, now I can look at loot without getting absolutely farmed for it. Oh, right, we have shields, too. Let me go ahead and just throw on Transformers, convenient, I guess. We're probably going to run into a lot of ion loaders soon. 
And yeah. Okay, cool. We're gonna have to finish the rest tomorrow because I am unfortunately out of time. But we have done very well for ourselves. We've made a ton of progress here in TVHM. We are gonna continue to make really good progress since we have this bada. And I mean, progression is just good. Nuke damage is still insanely high. We have legendary, so we can actually play the video game alongside them now without having to wait for cooldown for a thousand years. We can just like shoot enemies ourselves and they just go away now. So yeah, feels good. Day two.